Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to another installment of Scott's Tennis Selections here Tuesday, July 2nd. Before we get into the play of the day, we'll quickly recap what happened yesterday. We picked up a very nice winner with Taylor Fritz minus one and a half sets against Tomas Burdich. The match was uh, pretty one-sided as I expected. I thought that the sets would actually be closer than they were, but Burdich definitely showed he's not at 100%. I expect him to retire at some point from the sport in the immediate future. Definitely did not look like the same person that he once was, shell of his former self. Fritz, on the other hand, was fantastic as it ended up closing out 6-4, 6-4, 6-3. He served 19 aces and zero double faults. He was absolutely fantastic and definitely helped us out as a nice minus 125 on the minus one F sets as he won convincingly in straight sets. However, uh, we're not going to be content with that as we will continue moving on to the rest of Wimbledon, which brings us to day three coverage. And we're going to be looking at a match that should be taking place on the ATP at roughly 9.15 Eastern time. And we are going to be looking at uh, Marcel Granollers versus Ugo Umber, as they will be playing at some point tomorrow afternoon. But it's uh, tomorrow morning, I should say, tomorrow afternoon in London. But in this matchup itself, we like Granollers here on the money line as a slight favorite at minus 113 at Pinnacle. And that will be the line that we use at time of recording of 10.30 p.m., on Tuesday, July 2nd. Now, the main reason why I like this matchup is simply just the fact that I think Granola is a significantly better grass court player. If you've looked at the recent matches, Granola had to qualify here in Great Britain. He has not dropped a set in all of qualifying, and he also dominated against Sonigo in the first round as he won in straight sets, 7-6, 6-4, 6-4. And I know that those sets look close, but Granola also went 4 for 19 in breakpoint opportunities. So he was doing a great job of actually getting to Sunday Go's serve returning-wise and was just unable to capitalize on a decent portion of those breakpoint chances. So he definitely has been seeing the ball really well as a returner, and he's also a pretty solid server in himself, and he has a very solid track record in Wimbledon in either previous seasons or this season in particular. Meanwhile, Umber, as a youngster, he I'm impressed that he was able to win in the first round. However, it is worth mentioning that he got extremely lucky that he is here because of the fact that Gail Monfi ended up getting injured after the first two sets and ended up uh, retiring. So if you look at the matchup here, uh, Monfils won the first set 7-6, won the second set 6-3, then he ended up losing the next two sets to Umber 6-4, 7-5, and then he was down 3-0 in the fifth and he retired. Monfils started dealing with ankle issues at some point in the third and fourth set. So Umber probably wouldn't even be here if Monfi did not get injured in the first place. So for that reason, I simply like Granolers here. Umber is a pretty solid server, not great by any means. If you look at the stats against Monfi, eight aces and nine double faults. He did win 70% of his first serve points, but overall he only won 53% of his second serve points. I think Granolers is the better player. I simply think that minus 113 is too low. I think Granola should be roughly minus 125. So for pure value alone, we will be taking Granola's here at minus 113 on Pinnacle. And that will be the tennis play of the day. Actually, as I'm looking at this right now, it appears that some of the lines haven't updated. The best line available is actually a minus 115. Pinnacle just changed. So we will actually be using minus 115, which is available at Pinnacle, Bovada, and you wager. So the line we're going to be using instead will be on Granola's money line at minus 115. Other than that, quick reminder of our sponsor, PointsBet, online sportsbook in New Jersey. Great deals for you if you are looking for a new online sportsbook in the New Jersey area. Up to two risk-free bets, up to $1,000. So if you end up losing uh, two bets, you end up getting your money back and get to you know reinvest it in future bets instead of having to make up the deficit you just lost. But as I said before, and the last time I'll say it, the play of the day will be on Marcel Granola's money line, which is available at minus 115 at Pinnacle and Bovada, etc. So that's going to do for this installment of Scott's Tennis Selections here for Tuesday, July 2nd. And I look forward to seeing all of you tomorrow morning for the regular Scott Selection show. Bye, everyone.